Hi, I'm Dave, and today I'm going to give you a tour of this wonderful, I'm calling it a uniclone mount with a uniclone scope to match. Now, when I use the word uniclone, I mean, uh, I mean it with the greatest respect. Uh, the maker of this mount, you have probably seen the mount before in another YouTube video, the maker of the mount was being very respectful and honoring Unitron when he made the mount, or she made the mount. Uh, they machined things with great care and great quality. It is clearly not a Unitron. It's got distinctive indications that it is not a Unitron, but by the same token, it is, um, it is an homage to Unitron. I meant the same when I constructed this telescope. Uh, I honor Unitron. I respect Unitron. And I'm not trying to imitate so much as respect, honor, perhaps imitate a little bit. Uh, because I love them so much. Anyhow, I built this scope as an homage to Unitron. It's actually got a Jaeger's, a beautiful 4-inch Jaeger's objective. Uh, so it provides a beautiful image. I made the cell for it. I'll show you some close-ups of some of these items when we get to it. I made the cell for it. Uh, I made or modified all the rings and so forth. This tube is in fact clearly not Unitron because it's the wrong size. This is a 4-inch OD aluminum tube and uh, of course uh, Unitrons are a little bit bigger than that. I can't remember what it is exactly but you know, it's another tenth of an inch or fifteen hundredths of an inch bigger than, uh, than a four inch. So it's clearly not a Unitron, and yet it has attributes that make it similar to un a Unitron. The, the guide scope here, I made this guide scope uh, essentially from scratch. I didn't make the objective, but I made the guide scope. Uh, the guide scope is a, uh, as with a Unitron, it's a 60 millimeter. Uh, F700, so it's a short focal length refractor. The tube size is different, so it's not Unitron tube size, it's a little bit smaller. I had to make the rings and I had to make the mounting features for it and so forth, so I made the rings and the, there's some protective rings inside, made all of that. These are actually good old classic Unitron screws that I obtained elsewhere. This finder is a Unitron finder, and it is mounted using the standard Unitron size rings for a 4-inch. And the um, solar screen mounts are also Unitron. But I was able to duplicate Unitron sunscreens and make those, so I, I was able to make those. I made uh, the counterweight system you see up at the front, although the rings are modified, and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of insight into the modifications here when I show you close-ups. Okay, let's do a little walkabout with this telescope. You may be able to see that these rings are not Unitron, clearly. Uh, they are, in fact, just Orion, simple Orion rings, but I modified them. I modified them heavily by cutting them and inserting a piece of a tube here. Uh, I, of course, made all of this, so all these other pieces here are made on my lathe and milling machine. This is the cell for the Uniclone. I, I don't know if you can tell, but this has actually got push-pull bolts. So they're tiny push-pull bolts, so it's adjustable. It's a nice little cell for the Jaeger's lens. The Jaeger's lens is a beautiful lens, by the way. It's a wonderful, large, air-spaced, 4-inch uh, acromat. As we go down, go down the tube here, this uh, cradle was actually made from parallax rings. I, I felt it was a little bit sacrilegious, but I did it anyway. Parallax makes beautiful rings. Well, I put those rings, beautifully made rings, I put them on my uh, lathe and my milling machine. I turned them down a little bit to make them look a little bit more old school, so I, I took off uh, some of the square corners on them. Um, and I mean absolutely no disrespect to, to uh, Parallax because their rings are superb. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, but I just wanted to, to look a little bit different. 
as we go down here, I had to make these uh, rings and all of this, all of this assembly is made by me. Of course, I have a, a focuser here. Now, the focuser is a parallax focuser. It's a 965 focuser. And down here I have a, this is a Unitron focuser. Not sure if you can see, but it says Unitron D102F1500. I'm not trying to lie to anybody about this and tell them it's a Unitron. I hope that's understood. Anyway, I've got a nice inch and a quarter eyepiece holder here. There are the the little holders for the solar screen. This is a nice Unitron 40 millimeter finder. As we go back here, this is the lock, the right ascension lock. This is the it's part of the gearing mechanism for the clock drive. And I believe you can see you can probably see that it's hooked up here. There's some gear work inside there. This is actually the clutch. When you tighten this down, it causes this to engage. When it's loose, it's not engaged. Very simple, very elegant design. Here's the mechanism that transmits the energy. And here is the clock drive itself. Okay, here's a close-up of the clockwork mechanism. You can certainly see the pinion gear turning, I'm sure. You may be able to see the little gears inside the, the planetary system working as well. When I turn this, see the large outer gear. I don't know what that's called, if that's called the earth gear or the sun gear or what. Anyway, that gear is turning the whole mechanism as well. Matter of fact, if I turn off the clock drive, let's back this up a little bit. If I turn off the clock drive, you can see that I'm actually turning this, which would communicate up to the telescope and turn it in right ascension. So you could track in right ascension using that, or certainly correct right ascension. It's designed to be a correction for right ascension tracking error so you can you know make the make the thing turn a little faster a little slower as we go up there's the U joint and go up to some more gears inside there You can see that mechanism turning. I don't actually have it engaged. I would have to turn this. There's a friction bearing it there. So I'd have to turn that to get it to engage the actual um, worm wheel, make a track. Okay, here's a close up of the rings. You can see that I took some Orion rings, cut them, and had to modify them. Here's the lens cell up at the front. Nice little push-pull cell. Here are the replica solar screens. These are almost indistinguishable. And here is the mounting ring for the 60 millimeter guide scope. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the Uniclone 4-inch F15 refractor. Thank you.